This video is a high-level introduction to ClickHouse for BigQuery developers. We'll explore what ClickHouse is used for, how to model data, available data types, querying data, and integrations. So this matrix here describes how ClickHouse is used. So while it can handle the traditional data warehouse workload with few queries on big data volumes, it can also be used in user-facing applications. The first thing we need to do in any data project is model and then ingest our data. BigQuery and ClickHouse both use column-oriented storage, and you'll see the best performance if you query a single table. The approach to data modeling is similar, although materialized views play a key role when using ClickHouse. So materialized views in ClickHouse work a little bit differently from those in BigQuery. BigQuery materialized views are refreshed periodically, whereas ClickHouse ones are always in sync with the source table. So when a row is inserted into a source table, the materialized view will receive that same insert and then apply it to a destination table, which we can then query. Next, let's have a look at data types. So there's a direct equivalent for nearly all big query types, but they may sometimes have slightly different names. One exception is the interval type. So ClickHouse doesn't have a type for storing intervals, but you can work with intervals using expressions and functions. When it comes to querying data, both BigQuery and ClickHouse support standard SQL. You'll find that ClickHouse sometimes uses different names for functions. So for example, unnest is array join, and array is group array. ClickHouse also has a big selection of array functions, so you might find that you can simplify your queries. For integrations, BigQuery, as you might expect, has much tighter integration with the GCP ecosystem. ClickPipes is ClickHouse Cloud's integration engine, and it supports loading data from Google Cloud Storage. Click pipes can also import data from streaming data platforms like Kafka, Confluent, and Red Panda. You can also write SQL to directly query and ingest data from various sources, including Parquet, JSON, CSV, and more. And as well as running on GCP, you can also run ClickHouse Cloud on AWS or Azure, so you're not locked into a single cloud provider. Now this video is just a brief overview of BigQuery and ClickHouse. If you want to learn more, take a look at the developer guide, which I'll also link in the description below.